Master, why are we here again? Why must we go to all the sand planets, Master? Master? I think I'm better at doing the kid Anakin impersonation. Master? Oh wait, no, that's the Jedi Archive kid. Master, could someone erase it from the Jedi Archive? We'll just give Anakin that voice all day today, can you imagine? Over the many years we have spent together, I have learned that you have a hatred for sand. Well today, we are going to change that, my boy. We are going to travel to every sand planet in the galaxy and expose you to as much sand as possible so that you may finally get over this obsession with hating sand. It is the only way you will eventually become a Jedi Master. What? Don't don't rub it in his face, Obi Wan. You know that's never gonna happen, Obi Wan. You know you know that's never gonna. He's never getting to the rank of master. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> Anakin, my boy, we're starting here on Tatooine, where you first grew up. Come with me into the home. You did not grow up here, but your son will. Anakin, feel the sand going into each and every pore, each and every crevice. You must embrace the sand if you are finally to get over sandophobia that you possess. How do you feel, Anakin? Can we can we please get off this planet, Obi-Wan? Let's go, okay. This ship was literally in the desert during the sandstorm in Phantom Menace, so you'd think that regardless of how well they clean this ship, there would be sand in it somewhere. Therefore, we're taking this ship. Anakin, come, my boy! Anakin's had enough. He's literally gonna stay behind because he's just done with this. He's like, nah, I don't want to get over this thing of sand. Oh, he's, he's coming, finally. To Geonosis, my friend, such a cool ship. The Naboo ships are my favorite. Everyone knows by now. I love the Naboo ships. How can you not? Even traveling at the speed of light, all the sand did not escape this ship. There was still sand somewhere on the ship, which Anakin was very well aware of. All right, Anakin, my boy, welcome to Geonosis. You once rescued me from here, well, you attempted to anyway, and then we ended up killing a bunch of beasts and Geonosians and battle droids in a giant arena until we were saved by the Jedi. Thank goodness for that day. This planet is the homeworld of the bug people, Geonosians. Hello, my friend. Can you lead the way? A droid foundry is a dangerous place, and so is the arena. Oh, believe me, I know more than most, my friend. We are here on a mission, though. We must rid Anakin of his sandophobia. Come, Anakin. We must speak to the locals. Perhaps they can assist with your sandophobia. Fear not, Anakin, I speak fluent Geonosian. <laughs> You're a kind shower, right? Thought so. You'll probably want to wait till you get home. The queue for hours is ridiculous. You can always go see what the holdup is. Anakin, we must fix their showers. That way we can wash all the sand from you. Oh, hello there. A Twi'lek. I have a soft spot for your kind. Did you see that Clone Wars episode? <laughs> Those awful soldiers are hogging the shower again. There'd be no hot water left by the time we get in there. I bet not. Yeah, unless you get one of those continuous hot water systems. I got one of those here. It just it never runs out. It can't get super hot, but it's, it's like keeps going. All right, battle droid. Droids have got to stay clean too, you know. Yeah. Geonosian dust gets everywhere. It's sand, my friend. Don't call it dust. Don't don't try and avoid it. I know, I know you're trying to say that for Anakin's sake, but... There's no avoiding it. All right, what are we gonna do here? Oh, what are you gonna do? You turn. Oh my gosh, he's turning it to cold water. <laughs> oh, those poor droids. My boy, take a shower, rid yourself of the sand. Oh, isn't it glorious? And so Anakin spent some time with Obi Wan in the shower. We're joined by a, a several rubber duckies, which were made of Lego pieces and, and seemingly a lot bigger than any rubber duck I remember playing with as a kid. They're, they're quite large, aren't they? Large rubber ducks. That's that's fun though. How far can we push the rubber ducks, do you think? So Anakin and Obi-Wan, after taking a shower together, move the rubber ducks around the room. Anakin, my dear boy, that is one step in your journey to becoming cleansed of this sandophobia. We must continue on our quest through Geonosis. We can return to the showers at a later point. Bathe yourself in the sand, my friend. All right, come on, Anakin, let's go. We're going up here. I'm not sure where yet. Hopefully it will reveal something to us though. Oh, oh my gosh, Anakin, we're being attacked by battle droids. They must have heard you're trying to cure yourself of the sandophobia. Fear not, Anakin, I've dealt with the issue. You, you you just work on trying to get up the hill. I know there's a lot of sand in your in your boots right now. What you snooping around Geonosis for, huh? My friend! How do you know what they're saying? When you travel the universe with Qui-Gon Jinn, you tend to learn a few things. Well, that translates to we are trying to cure Anakin, my dear boy, who is not a Jedi Master and will never be one. This is outrageous. But don't tell him that. Of his sandophobia. Oh my gosh. Anakin! Anakin! So many battle droids! Join me in battle! Oh, these are cool. They're, that's, they're actually the Geonosian battle droids too. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Anakin, we've come across a great discovery. <gasps> Look at that. It's Lego Star Wars 2. Lego Star Wars 2. They have game copies of LEGO Star Wars 2. The Nemoidians have been playing LEGO Star Wars 2. Oh my gosh, it's the original LEGO Star Wars as well. That's so cool. I know I've seen these Easter eggs before, but it's still awesome every time I see it. Cause like, what an Easter egg. We have to get up there. So, oh my gosh, the key code is on top of all the copies 
of the game, which I just destroyed, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Insert. It's just a kyber brick. Is that all we're doing here? Where is the ship? There is a ship we have not unlocked yet on this planet. If we destroy all copies of LEGO Star Wars, will we unlock the ship? That is the question, my friend. Why does that look like a doorway? It's not. It's reminding me of the Bounty Hunter level O from Star Wars Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Master Obi-Wan, come with me. I'm sensing something in the distance. A disturbance in the force or in the, or in the game for some reason. Oh, I think I just dropped Anakin into the acid. Yep, all good. If there's two things Anakin doesn't like, it's sand and acid. I don't like acid. What about down here? <gasps> hey! If you can't do it yourself, just get a droid to help. Or a Jedi. I am a Jedi! Lucky for you! Ooh, we just unlocked a new rumor. I wonder what that rumor leads to. Why have I never been down here? I'm just gonna destroy all the gonk droids, and it looks like you're here to stay, my friend. I'm so sorry. My friends, this battle droid has sent us on a great journey. Obi-Wan, I'm excited now. I can feel the sand. I can feel the sand? That's the end of sentence. End of sentence. Anakin's getting lazy with that he's talking. I think the sand is actually turning him insane. And so deeper into the Genosian catacombs they traveled, although they could not even see where they were going as it was so dark. Is that just me? I, I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing! Anakin! Here, yeah, this way. Oh! Oh my gosh, they're planning! <gasps> it was at this moment, Anakin had a great idea. He did not need to remove the sandophobia from himself. He needed to remove the sand from the galaxy. It was at this point Anakin realized he needed to acquire a Death Star to destroy every sand planet in the galaxy. This has been his plan all along, but he would not tell Obi-Wan. Anakin knew he was heading in the right direction. He knew he was in the right place for this kind of mission. Why is there a gonk droid here? Hello. Wait, 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 wait. Obi-Wan is the one who speaks Geonosian. Ani Anakin, you think Anakin really speaks Geonosian? I can never find a battery when I need one. It's a shame because I've seen a bunch of unclaimed valuables from an arena contestant in a room that needs batteries to be opened. Anakin, my friend, come with me, my boy. It seems we need to find a room of batteries to open this, open the doorway to unlock the ship we desire. How are we gonna do that in the dark though? I have literally no idea because it's so dark in here. My eyes are, are, it's testing my eyesight. Anakin, you're the younger of the two of us. Perhaps you can use your much improved eyes to see your way around. Oh, here we go. All right, there's a reason for this. Bang. Oh, I think we just opened the door, Anakin. <gasps> I see the ship. Obi-Wan, I see the ship. Yeah. Come on, Anakin, quickly. Quickly, release. No. I mean, it's in there. So all we have to do is put it in the platform, right? Put it, chuck it in or not. Oh, it worked. There we go. All right, Anakin, you're a genius. Obi-Wan, I found the ship. It's my dream ship. I actually really, really love this ship. I can't believe we finally unlocked it. The Geonosian Solar Sailor. Anakin, you know what this means. It is time to travel to our next planet, but to do so, we must take our new ship. We're gonna rid you of your sandophobia by giving you an even sandier ship. Come to the next sand planet, we must go. And so Obi-Wan and Anakin traveled to Pisana the next planet on their list of sand planets in their newly unlocked sand ship to rid Anakin of his sandophobia. Oh my gosh, I can literally see me in it. Obi-Wan, can you breathe in space there, my friend? How are you breathing? It shoots purple as well, that's cool. Not many ships shoot purple. I will say, I think that's a Geonosian thing. Luckily, Obi-Wan can fly it because the only people who can fly this ship are actually Geonosians because they have to speak the language to be able to fly. Right? I don't want the space battle. I want to talk to this guy. In all my time with the Resistance, I never thought I'd see a battle like this. They just keep coming. I know we all think we've had some tough fights, but this one, for you. I barely got out of there with my plating. If you're going in, you'd best be prepared to take your A game. Heck, you're going to need your B and C games as well. Think you're ready? Sure, accept the mission. Doom and boom. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. Good luck out there and nice knowing you. It's nice knowing you. I'll shoot you down with my new Geonosian ship. Can I literally shoot him down? I think I can. Oh my gosh. This is testing our new Geon- Oh, oh, we're in a barrel roll. We're locked in a roll. Flying is for droids. Wow, this ship is quick, man. Like, actually, pretty good. What do we have to do? Take out the enemy ships? It's just a space battle, fellas. How, how, good, how good is this? Anakin was built for this. Obi-Wan. But I enjoy being a Geniosian. Obi-Wan's just totally flexing his knowledge of the galaxy to Anakin. Just being like, yes, I, I also speak seven billion languages. Prepare to be crushed! And so Anakin and Obi-Wan joined a space battle in their new sand ship over a sand planet to get rid of Anakin's fear of sand. It went well. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Look at this thing spin. Because it's so small. Just the entire thing is just like flipping around. Well fought, everyone. We're curing Anakin Sand. Oh my gosh, the pilot literally fell asleep. Well, color me surprised. You actually came out on top. Impressive. Maybe not most impressive. Most impressive. But it's definitely in the top five. Aftab Akbar. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have the perfect ship for this. We're gonna unlock Aftab Akbar. Let's go. We have to fly through the gates, I'm assuming. Kenobi, let's go. Anakin's the best pilot, not Obi-Wan. Anakin should totally be flying this, but the problem is Anakin actually can't fly the ship. Silver. Oh my. Oh, we missed it. 
We missed it by 0.4 of a second. We can do that. Come on, we can totally do this. 0.4 of a second. Are you kidding me? Obi-Wan, this is Anakin training you. Okay, you've got this, man. Oh, we did it. Gold. Too good. And Aftab Akbar is now ours. The son of Admiral Akbar, I believe, right? Look at the ship is literally covered in sand. Welcome to Pisana, Anakin. The next of the sand planets on the list. Come, we have business. Anakin, please go speak to some of the locals and find out what they need. It will assist us with getting rid of your sandophobia. This great festival occurs only once every 42 years. No way, that's that's cool. The galaxy was a different place 42 years ago. Who knows where we shall be the next festival comes around. Probably all dead. <gasps> Anakin felt it was possible his sandophobia had been cured as he had just found what appeared to be a giant trampoline. Oh my goodness. I don't think Anakin's ever had this much fun in his life. I'll be busy up here, Obi-Wan. Seems to be on top of things. He's not even gonna try join me. I can literally walk off and he's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep jumping because that's that's my life now. Looking for the Wookiee cookie. A Wookiee cookie? What are we talking about now? I don't, I, I what? No. Too bad. No money, no cookie. Can I have the Wookiee cookie now, please? Before I end your life? Why, why do I have a Wookiee cookie? Surely this is, it's for something else, clearly. Oh, sorry. Oh, my Wookiee cookie's disappeared. Can I have the Wookiee cookie back? It better be back there. Yeah, okay, what's it for? I don't know what the Wookiee cookie's for. I want to find out what this Wookiee cookie is for. Why would one ever need a Wookiee cookie? Is that something I have yet, I'm yet to learn about Lego Star Wars? You can eat and drink? What is the point of this cup as well? There's a cup here for drinking. A trampoline. Oh, Anakin's found his true purpose in life. And so while Anakin jumped atop another, yet another trampoline, Obi-Wan had some Jedi business to attend to. There's too many kids in this village. I'm so worried about Anakin being here. You just keep jumping on the car, on the, on the trampoline, Anakin. Please stay away from the children. I'm gonna become a Jawa. Kite contest course, sure. Let's go. All right, little Jawa, you got this, man. I don't remember how to use this feature, but sure. Oh, you do have to hold X. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is challenging. Yeah. Come on, Joa. We got gold. We did it. Joa, thank you so much. Now get out. Thank you. Them's chitin words. All right. Did I unlock the character as well for this? I swear there was a character that was supposed to come with this. Huh? Nambi Gima. Who the heck are you? There's a young Aki Aki child on the desert. Her people were the festival lands. So when the resistance arrived, they were on way fun. And this was Nambi's first festival. All right. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Rise of Skywalker thing. No one cares. No one actually cares. I can't we believe we're spending this long on a Rise of Skywalker planet. Can you guys believe that? I don't know what the Wookiee cookie is for, but we will find out at some point soon. Do you require a Wookiee cookie? I'm waiting on a hot iced tea. Oh, Where is it? I got it for you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot iced tea. It was over here. One sec, one sec, one sec. I'm a waiter. I'm a waiter now. I can totally do this. If it stops Anakin from killing all the children and finally he gets over his sand thing, then I can totally do this. Surely this is a hot, I hot iced tea, right? My hot iced tea. Thank you no so much. No worries. These desert parties give me quite the thirst. Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. No one cares. I've been given some kind of cake, but I actually ordered the galaxy famous Wookiee cookie. No worries. I'll, I'll give the other person the cake. You, you want the cake, right? My cake is here. Time to find out how delectable these things really are. How, how, you, are you going to eat that entire cake? The cake is bigger than you, my friend. How are you going to eat that whole thing? All right, I'll get you a Wookiee cookie, okay? Don't worry, relax. Can you believe? Seven and a half thousand dollars for a Wookiee cookie just for some guy. I don't even get to eat it. It's for some guy randomly sitting in this Pisana village, the Pisana festival. What's the deal? Why can't I eat the Wookiee cookie? You see, you see? All right, fine. I'll take my gold, my, my diamond kyber thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. You like Wookie cookies? Yes. Yes. I am starting a gonk droid beauty pageant and I require some assistance. Okay. And I thought Anakin was weird for wanting to kill all the children. So off course right now. Anakin, how's this helping with your... Oh my gosh. It's spinning like crazy. How's this helping with your sand curing? Oh my gosh. The gonk droids are literally taking over. This is early signs of the gonk revolution. This story takes place outside of the, the other bombastic verse, I guess. So what is going on? The gonks have made a decision. They, the, the gonks are taking over in every version of my galaxy. Obi-Wan, I'm sick of this planet. Let's go. Okay, we're going to the last sand planet to Jakku. And so after learning that the galaxy was also being taken over by gonkroids in every single way possible, Anakin and Obi-Wan traveled to the final sand planet in an attempt to cure Anakin of his sandophobia. Little did Obi-Wan know that Anakin was planning to find himself a Death Star to destroy every sand planet in the galaxy. That was his primary objective and he would achieve it no matter what the cost. Anakin, there's a character here we are yet to unlock. He will guide you. Oh look, Anakin, it's you when you were a kid. It looks like you when you were a kid. What are you looking for? Scans of that old 80, 80. Oh boy, the accent. Oh my goodness. We found... Oh, this is like Ray's house. Ray was living here, right? There's, uh, there's stormtrooper propaganda everywhere. I wonder what that says. Join the Empire. 
How did I know? Genius. I can read Orbesh, that's how. Obi-Wan can read Orbesh. Don't you know, Anakin, I'm, I'm skilled in many languages. <laughs> is this where we're supposed to go? I believe this is what you're talking about. Heavily guarded? Anakin, this looks like a job for you. Come, cure your sand phobia. Barabupa! That's, that's you saying back off, really? It's funny that we actually need a bounty hunter to now get us into whatever this wreckage is. Open them up, there you go. All right. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Did we just free the beast or, nope. Okay, boss fight, Anakin, Anakin. This is reminding me of the Genos, it's arena all, all along. Oh, it's eating, it's fine. What was that? Anakin, how are you feeling about your sand thing? I thought we maybe had to defeat the beast. Unkar, we gotta unlock Unkar. Unkar Plot is not gonna be happy about this. Let's get out of here before he finds out it was us. Oh no, but he's saluting. Oh, that's, that's respectful of him. He's saluting a Jedi because he knows if he doesn't, I'm gonna kill him. Unkar, my friend. I am sorry, I, I tried to throw that at you. Some imbecile left my storeroom door open and allowed a Hapobor to wander in and make off with the lot. So it's possible that if we find him, I can recover what's left. Start by checking around the storehouse. Joy thing, let's go. We're gonna go find the Hapobor and defeat the beast. To defeat Hungry Hapobor. It's probably not an evil beast. It's probably not something we even need to kill. It's something we just need to go find and give give a home so it doesn't destroy the village and then the villagers don't destroy it. Where, where did the giant beast go, friends? You following the trail of food too? I am. I'm trying to cure my fear of sand. I, I didn't listen to what she said. What did she say? I was too, too busy feeling the sand in my feet. Give me back my portions, you shameless savage. That's not all of them. Oh wow, you're making him throw up your portions? Really? Is that what's actually going? We're going to follow him, bury? He's buried the rest. Let's follow the beast. Can we ride him? Oh please. Oh please. Anakin, quickly. Get it closer. Yeah! No, Anakin. Yeah! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Got some birds coming in and attacking! What is this? Nature attacks! Alright, onwards! Forward into battle! <laughs> This is not something I ever expected to be doing in LEGO Star Wars or today. Riding a half a boar into battle to find where it left its food scraps. More attacking birds. Fear not, I will protect you, half a boar. Oh, he's literally trembling with fear. Oh, buddy, buddy. Oh, here we go. We got more attacking birds, not to worry. If they were younglings, Anakin would have dealt with them by now. Oh my God, he's throwing up. The poor guy, oh my gosh. Really? You get you, you want that food back? I take it one quarter slightly slobbery portion will suffice as No, I take it I will cut you. Just like I cut the younglings. Yes, that's it. Be afraid, my friend. Be very, very afraid. Obi-Wan, I'm not cured of sand, and I'm going to do what I said I would do a long time ago. Well, you see, I've been plotting in the background. I've used my connections in the Senate, my connections with Palpatine, to buy myself my very own Death Star! And using that Death Star, I will destroy every last planet that has anything to do with sand. And so Anakin flew in his Jedi Starfighter into space above Jakku, the first sand planet he was targeting, to call upon what was his greatest accomplishment, a Death Star. Anakin flew closer to the Death Star, getting closer to the ship that would destroy every sand planet in the galaxy. But once arriving on his ship, he learned that Palpatine only gave him a baby Death Star. <laughs> All right, Jakku, you're my first target. Attack! Anakin attempted to use his Death Star laser to destroy Jakku, the sand planet, but it was no use. The laser did nothing. So he traveled to Pasana in an attempt to destroy another sand planet. He opened fire, but nothing to no avail. If only he'd been granted the rank of master, maybe Palpatine would have given him a proper Death Star. And it can open fire on Geonosis, but still no avail. No destruction was caused. He had no choice but to return to his homeworld of Tatooine. One final planet to attempt to destroy the place of his birth. He opened fire on Tatooine, and yet there was no effect. He had no choice but to go land on Tatooine and accept that he was going to always, once and forever, hate sand. There was no escaping sand in the galaxy until he could finally level up to the rank of master and potentially be gifted a proper sized Death Star. This, this ship really isn't cutting it for Anakin. He couldn't destroy the sand planets and he was forced to live in sand for the rest of his life. It was inescapable. Sand everywhere, sand, sand, so much sand. For more adventures of Anakin and the Tales of Sand, subscribe. Also, come follow me on all the socials. And did you know that a war is coming?
factions of the galaxy are plotting against one another. Palpatine rules the Empire with Vader as his right-hand man. Meanwhile, Vader is still searching for his long-lost love, Ahsoka Tano. Darth Maul leads the Rebel Alliance alongside General Grievous. Count Dooku is gathering Separatist forces with the assistance of Poggle the Lesser. They have also recruited the Wookiees, who seek vengeance against Palpatine for destroying their sandcastles. Meanwhile, we thought Darth Jar Jar was pulling the strings behind the scenes, controlling Palpatine, controlling the galaxy, but it was revealed that the Sith God has been telling Jar Jar what to do this entire time. And as a result, most of the galaxy has been overrun with Gonk droids. With the assistance of Claude, the Mandalorians have created a machine potentially capable of destroying all Gonk droids, ridding the galaxy of the Gonk droid infestation. The Great Gonk Purge is upon us. Today, the factions of the galaxy prepare for war. If you want to see the factions getting ready for war, watch this video here and thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew, I'll catch you soon.